Good morning, friends. This is Syed Shruti from PT Tutorials Osses Group. Am I audible? Okay. Thank you, Ashir. Ashrita. Today I'm here to talk about a very, very important topic. And this is the second part of the last webinar. Last Saturday also, uh, I had discussed about reading writing blanks. In reading writing blanks, you need to concentrate on three things. Number one is your grammar. Number two is your collocations. And three is your understanding. Today, I have taken those paragraphs, which will be the combination of all these three, mostly collocations and understanding. So in between you have any query, you can ask the questions. I try to give the answers to your questions at the end of the webinar when I'll be finishing uh, with these uh, paragraphs of reading writing plans. In this type of question type, this will be the very first question type in your reading exam, reading module. And you will be given one paragraph just like this now you people can see and when you press here you will have some options and out of these options you have to select one and the thing is why here we get reading as well as writing score because because of the presence of collocations collocations is the part of your grammar that's why grammar is the part of your writing. You people get here writing score also. And not only in small amount, even a big amount will be there that will be added to your reading as well as writing score. If a person is suffering in reading and writing score, it means definitely he or she is lacking in uh, reading writing plans. So it's really very really important to know how to deal with reading writing plans. So now I'm going to start with basically you need to know about the understanding. I'll explain the things that how I'm going to choose this word because of the presence of these many words, because of the presence of this theme. Clear? So let's start. During World War II, the British entertained the dash of building runways on icebergs in order to provide cover for the vital Atlantic convoys. Now, this theme is related to building runways on icebergs. British entertained the dash of the planning of building runways. You can plan something, but planning is only about when the ideas are there in your thoughts. You are thinking something, yeah, one opinion is there and you want to work on that thing. Idea, idea means one concept. Next one is thought. Thought is simple that you have just one thought in your mind. Proposal, proposal and idea word, these are very closely related to each other. Idea, I have this idea in my mind. I got an idea. Proposal. Proposal means when um, you are going to uh, offer something to someone. That is one proposal. But here, as per you, you can also give your answers side by side. I'll check those. Entertained the dash of building runways. Now here, what we can entertain? Idea of building runways on icebergs. Proposal, this line, if I want to add, as Ashrita is saying, proposal, then this line would have framed in some other way. Britishers proposed the idea of building runways on icebergs. Then the line should be written in this way. If I want to add the word proposal. But here, as the line is not framed in that sense, definitely, I cannot write there the word proposal. 
entertained the the idea of building runways on icebergs in order to provide cover for the vital Atlantic convoys. So answer is here, ideal. Yes, Saurabh, you are right, good. Next is, why to read all these lines? I want to save my time. If I will not be getting the meaning from this line, then definitely I'm going to read it. Otherwise, there is no need. The goal was design and test a floating airport dash that. Now they are talking about some floating airport. Blanks are, options are floating airport aviation. It's not like you are going to fly. No. The goal was to design and test a floating airport dash that. Now I need here. Aviation is noun, ideas, these are noun, concept is noun, conception is not noun. From these words, which word? Hardik, very good. Test a floating airport, dash that, if successful, concept that. Because with idea, the meaning of idea, what I said here, it was one concept actually. Very good, Rupali. I'm going to add here, test a floating airport concept that it was actually one concept. Then I'm on this line. A smaller scale model with a thousand meter long runway was actually built and test proved that mega float was dash. Mega float was dash for now use the collocations in the last webinar i told you people that collocations are basically it's nothing but it is mostly about um, the things um, the certain words actually which are often used together now and collocations are of two types one with word to word and second one is word with one proposition here, four is the proposition. Mega float was proper for, this is wrong. Proper with can be used. Fitted, with fitted, I need to write uh, fitted in something. It was fitted to, next, suitable. I think that suitable can be there. But right is also, um, I can choose the word right also here. But now confusion is between suitable and right. Which word I should go for? You people are saying good. Uh, you people are saying suitable. Why not I choose for suit uh, right also? Because if I go with the meaning of suitable and right, this thing is suitable for me. It's right for me. I can say that also. But see, whenever almost two very close synonyms are there, then you have to check their category. Kindly write down these things. You know, what is the meaning of category here? I'm repeating, whenever you are confused between two very close words, their meanings are very, very close. <clears throat> so at that time, try to categorize the words. Categorize means high level and low level. Now suitable is somehow a high level word, but right is somehow general word, low level word. Just like in the last class, I explained combination and collaboration. Combination means co color combination, but combination can never will, uh, this word will never go with companies. That I say combination of this and this company. I will always use the word high vocabulary word that is collaboration of the companies but we'll never use the word collaboration with collaboration of green and red color this is how we have to categorize the words when we are confused between two very closely related words whose uh, meanings are very very similar now here i'm going to as my topic is related to british runways some ideas are there concepts they are talking about airport aviation these kind of 
words are there so suitable will be the required word that i need here mega float was suitable for aircraft operations then in the next line similar proposals have been floated quite literally in this case for san diego a city whose international airport has little room left to dash it has little room left to dash in its current location can we increase the room increase the location very good hardik we can expand it has little room left to expand in its current location because the collocation which will go with the location that is expand not develop not enlarge just like we say metal expands when heated very good ujwal you are also giving right answer answer should be expand because of the word this location i have to choose the word here expand next is proposals to dash a brand new two runway international airport in the sea this is an easy one proposals are always someone gave the right answer very good hardik going good proposals are always built so proposals to build a brand new two runway international airport in the sea this is the correct answer this is not just like someone said make proposals to make a brand new two runway making is something else making means you are actually making it it is in construction build means proposals are to be built means you you have one proposal and after that because of the presence of that concept you will start working on it that's why with the word proposals you will always choose the word build or build depending upon the situation of that tense i hope paragraph is clear before you moving to the next please check whatever you wanted to select there have you selected only those options because sometimes when we are pressing we are selecting the words it may go wrong next paragraph several countries around the world celebrate earth day okay it is a day that is intended to raise dash about the earth's natural atmosphere what do you people raise recognition cognizance awareness or understanding this is an easy one very good mary sorab yes raise the awareness generally we say this thing not recognition not cognizance cognizance is related to mind activities understanding is something else it is a day that is intended to raise understanding no it's about raise the awareness amongst people next one the first earth day was held in america it was dashed by american senator gaylord nelson as an environmental general it was originated codified founded or established first of all i'm going to delete one option here because the sentence is written in passive form was by is there i need third form of verb first three options are third form so now i'm going to delete the option establish next it was dash by it was very good athok it was founded by 
because here you are talking about a day very good sana days are found they days are not originated so answer will be founded look over the collocations that you will be using now it was founded by american senator gaylord nelson next that was on april 22 1970 while this first earth day was dash on the U on the us now just check which word will go with the collocation with the proposition on day was dash on based word i'm going to select when it is related to um some play uh, no doubt places there that when i'm saying i'm based in with based you need the word in when you are going to say um where are you actually based in you are based in i am based in when place is there you used the you use the collocation base preposition next will be in not on based on something is different then the concept is different now you people are going on the right direction very good based on means something is based on this fact but here they have used the word place with place i need based in and here because of the presence of that preposition on i need here focused on while this first earth day was focused on the us and you people were correct here an organization dash by dennis hayes now i need here third form sentence is written in passive very good shalini organization is launched by dennis hayes third third uh, form of verb i need here prepared or launched there and made is also there you will not say organization is made you will not say organization is prepared only i'm left with the word launched and it's done next who was the original national planner in 1970 took it international in 1990 and organized events in 141 nations earth day is now dash globally by the earth the earth day network is now organized by the earth day network is harmonized governed or coordinated very good athok is now see our today we can say this thing that this day is organized but here look over the next few words our day is now dash globally means it is it will be or and it is organized globally but next few words are by the earth day network very good mary network word is there vijesh very good is now coordinated by the earth day network because of the presence of earth day network now i'm going to change my word from organized to coordinated now read the line it will be making sense earth day is now coordinated globally by the earth day network and is celebrated in more than 180 countries every year and next few words are also related to coordination because one thing is celebrated all globally this is what coordination is there and we are done again before moving to the next question check your answers whatever you wanted to select have you selected only those ones or something else raise awareness it was founded by someone they was focused on okay fine it is now coordinated because of the next few words and i'm done let's move to the next question next is one of the myths 
dash from the great wall of China. I got the meaning. One of the myths dashed. Here, I need actually third form and third forms. All are third forms. One of the myths dash with Great Wall of China is that it is the only man-made blah. Now, because of the presence of with, preposition is with, which word will go with with? One of the myths with the Great Wall of China. Yes, very good. Abhinandan associated. One of the myths associated with this thing means it is actually linked with this. Next, only man-made structure that can be seen from the moon with the naked eye. The legend dash in Richard Halliburton's 1938 book, second book of marvels. Now, I'm uh, repeating it. The legend dash in Richard Halliburton's 1938 book, second book of marvels. The legend dash in originated and dot conf confided uncovered. Legends are not uncovered. See, here you are talking about, read the last line. Actually, they are talking about here myth that this is the only man-made structure that can be seen from the moon with the naked eye. Means if we are on moon, we can easily see Great Wall of China. The legend dash in Richard Halliburton's Shalini, very good. The legend originated in, now this originated is related to this book. Halliburton's 1938 book, that was the second book of Marvels. And because of this book, I'm going to write, the legend originated it, not uncovered rather. You cannot uncover, can uncover the legend. Next, however, now see, because of the presence of this word, however, seen as different now. There might be uh, using some uh, other words. Because whenever we have however word, but now next few words or next lines will be definitely saying something opposite to the previous lines. Always have these things in mind. However, this myth is simply not true. They say this myth is not true. Richard Halliburton's claim was, that's why as myth means I say this is true. Other person is saying this is not true. It means now we are claiming something. And with the word claim, Halliburton's claim was dash by astronauts Neil Armstrong by and Yang Liu. Claim was denied, contradicted, reconciled, challenged. Very good Atok. Ashwita, this time answer is not correct. See, claim was, okay, as I said, now I will choose antonyms, negative words. Someone can also think challenge. See, here we are not uh, talking about that if you will say this, I challenge on that thing. Then it will be related to some war and all, some politics and all. Here they are just talking about that in that book it was written like this. And now Richard Halliburton's claim was, because he was saying this is not true, this myth is actually not true. So claim was contradicted by astronauts Neil Armstrong. He said this, now the other person is contradicting his statement that you are wrong at this point. I cannot choose the word here denied. Denied are always related to some big facts. Claims are always contradicted 
means someone claimed for this, but others are contradicting for that statement. Denied word will go with the facts. Facts are always having some evidence. Here, they are just talking about something because he has written something that we can see uh, Great Wall of China from moon with naked eyes. That's why I'm going to select here contradicted. Next. A more plausible assumption would be, say, would be to say that the Great Wall can be visible from a low orbit of the Earth, which is not unique in this regard as many other dashed constructions can be seen from that height. I have a very strong word here that will actually give me one hint which is already written earlier. Is not unique in this regard as many other artificial, simulated, imitated, or ludicrous. Very good, Hardik, Hardik, Athok, artificial. Why? We are here, we are talking about man-made structures and the other name given to man-made structure is artificial structures, constructions. So without thinking more, I'm going to select it and I'm done with my paragraph. Very good, Rupali, artificial is the right answer. One of the myths associated with, this is the collocation, legend originated in that book by uh, Halliburton. Then someone was also there, astronaut Neil Armstrong, by he was contradicting his claim that if he is saying this, many other artificial because of only man-made structures here we are talking. Let's move. I hope you people are understanding what I'm explaining. Thank you, Shalini. Let's move to the next paragraph. It is not always safe to take over the counter drugs, OTCs. I'm repeating, it is not always safe to take over the counter drugs, OTC. That's why hyphen is there. The longer you take them, the greater the risk you will incur. We are getting the meaning. They may dash with other drugs you take. They may dash with other drugs you take. They may interact with, they may exchange with, with may, I need a first form. I'm not going to select number three. They may indulge. See, now they may dash with, just like getting mixed up with. If I want to select indulge, with indulge, I need, I'm indulged into this. Next preposition can never be with. I need there, indulge into or in. But here, word is with, you can also say, uh, use this, exchange with this one. But here we are not exchanging actually. Look over the meaning of the line. They may interact with other drugs you take. So this is the only option I'm left with. They may interact with other drugs you take. Talking to a doctor or nurse before you, you begin taking taking an OTC is a good idea. A new study says the use of certain drugs dash to deal with. Heartburn is linked to kidney problems. Now, a little bit you need to think. Give me one second. Certain drugs dash to deal with. A new study says the use of certain drugs planned to deal with. You plan the drugs. 
certain drugs intended then aspire or expected what do you people think very good sana intended to deal with you know the meaning of intent is when you will go to see its dictionary meaning now it will be just like uh, you would have this uh, course of action means something you are going to do and after that its result will be this causes and effect type of course of action if i take this next what is written to deal with hard burn is linked to kidney problems kidney problems now if i'll be using it i would have this that's why i need the word here intended not the planning not aspiring something or expected next these type of drugs are proton pump inhibitors ppi PPIs are full of risk for many dash. Now a bit confusion. Of risk for many ailments, problems, disease, and virus. Which one I'm going to select here? It's not related to problems because here medical theme is there. Ailment or disease can be there. but with the word many i need a plural word which word is plural that is ailments suppose here you people have gotten here diseases then ailments and disease very rare very few difference between these two words actually ailment and disease disease means from our body any organ is dysfunctioning but ailment is actually it is not a disease it's related to some pain or some trouble this is the um, difference between these two words ailments and diseases here i'm talking about risks i'm not talking about the dangerous diseases and all so ppis are full of risk for many ailments means with this you will have some pains and troubles these include anemia and reducing the power of vitamins and minerals in the body Rip, um sorry some of otc brand names are nexim prevased and prelosic they are very popular recent studies of otcs have shown links to bone fractures now they are coming to some diseases as they are saying bone fractures other risks are seizures and mus muscle spasms there is also a higher risk of a dash form of diarrhea risk of a risk this is wrong risk of a different form of diarrhea what kind of forms are there for diarrhea this is wrong discolored wrong risk of a dangerous yes very good dangerous form of diarrhea because um if it is just the starting then you will have a uh, motions or vomitings but higher word is there with the word higher i need again one higher category word and that was dangerous dangerous form of diarrhea called c difficile infections this was the name of that now let's read this line don't waste time doctors now say people using otcs should have their kidneys dash on a regular basis now you people will give me the answer kidneys monitored 
observation c should have after have i need very good vijesh third form now i'm left with only two words after have i need third form there are two third forms monitored and studied you don't study the kidneys you will monitor it kidneys monitored on a regular basis yes very good rupali now before moving to the next question let's check they may after may i need first form interact with other then intended to collocation risk for many ailments i needed their one plural word higher with higher i need higher word that was dangerous kidneys are always monitored not studied now next paragraph peninsula air is supposed to be the only dash carrier to regularly have the dash peninsula air is supposed to be the only dash carrier decrease not meaning making any sense very good very good all are right it is major it's a major carrier means most of the reasons for this is this major carrier to regularly have to regularly have the dash on board now i'm confused i'm not aware what is the meaning of peninsula air and what topic they are here talking about leave it just read the options weapons penalty advancement crew options are just like amazing ones they are not actually uh, related to uh, each other so that i can make one guess no someone is saying weapons hardik and jovan okay fine i can take weapons but i want to make myself sure the airline is ramping up training for staff using the guns okay now i got the meaning yes good hardik you got my point and because of the guns i'm going to select here weapons we'll go back and we'll select it guns after disapproval for the way it handled a recent in flight disturbance in that us in that it's not an accident it's not an occupation it's not a trail it's an incident in that incident us singer eminem yes this was an easy one us singer eminem was among passengers who held and hold back an unruly passenger afterwards eminem used social media to dash that the crew was ill trained to state that to claim that to correct that to mark that very good very good shalini good hardik good see i know that you can also think here media to claim that afterwards see here we are not talking about anything for which something uh, suppose there are um, two parties and there is one confusion between those parties that's why i can use the word claiming and all as simple line is there amnam was among passengers who held and hold back an unruly passenger afterwards amnam used social media so now i'm going to select to state that crew was ill trained he is not claiming actually here anything and he is not marking krunal it is only a only state that is it clear so let's check again only the major carrier weapons because of guns next in that incident it was making sense used to social media to state that 
here we are not talking about some claiming and all just like in the last paragraph word was there last to last here <coughs> Shalini is asking why here we are have not selected crew. Okay, now read the line. Peninsula Air is supposed to be the only major carrier to regularly have the crew. You have the crew, darling? No. Yes, I I got here when you asked this question. At that time, I thought that okay because of crew on board. This is okay, fine, not weapon on board, but see, carrier to regularly have the weapons. So you don't have the people. Can I say I have the people? I have weapons. On board is just they are mentioning that um, this is on board, weapons are kept on the board. Okay, actually, this is the collocation because of that carrier to regularly have the weapons on board. Don't uh, take this uh, into that sense that because on board word is there, just like on uh, onshore, offshore, that's why you want to write their crew. Okay, and in the last line, I hope now this is making sense. Afterwards, Eminem used social media because he was actually, um, see here, the airline is ramping up training for staff using the gun after disapproval for the way it handled. They are talking about how the people were handling it. In flight disturbance, because of this disturbance, Hannah, um, we have this uh, ill-trained word that he said that crew was ill-trained. The people were not fully trained. Lack of training was there. I hope now it is clear. Let's move to the next question. Haiti had a big earthquake in 2010. Suppose uh, till that I haven't heard this word Haiti. I can predict now Haiti means place. Hattie had a big earthquake in 2010. To make matters worse, rescuers left behind and dash of cholera. Because of the presence of Anwood, I'm not going to take here blaze. Outbreak erupt. Next is occurred. I'm left with three options. And out of these three options, dash of cholera. Behind an outbreak. Yes, you people are correct because the word outbreak is either used with war or some diseases. And here cholera is there. That's why I'm going to use the word outbreak. Eruption, eruption of volcanoes. We always use it. It's not eruption. Outbreak. And cholera is not occurred. So I'm left with only outbreak. The country is the poorest in the hemisphere. Its government is the weakest. Just when matters could not get worse, they did. It was Hurricane Matthew. The storm wiped out large parts of the country. Upwards of a thousand people are dead and are missing. People are dash on the streets. People are, Mary is saying living, existing, this is wrong. Dying wrong. Yes, I knew that someone would think that sheltering <laughs> because uh, this uh, case is related to earthquake was there, so outbreak of cholera. So people were actually sheltering on the streets. Actually, this is wrong. People are living on the streets. You understand the meaning of sheltering? Sheltering means 
I took the shelter of that thing, that uh, that house. Just like if we are under something, just like I'm under the tree. Yes, very good, Krunal. Get under roof. Then it means that I'm taking the shelter. When roof is there on my head, not only always roof, just like I am uh, standing under the tree, then I can say that um, I can. I took the shelter of that tree. You have heard the similar line and some stories when we were um, in our childhood. He took the shelter of that. On the street, there is no shelter. So this is only people are living on the streets. Streets never give us any kind of shelters. Next, traffic cannot get through on many roads. That is making it hard to figure out how much damage there is. Elections were to take place last Sunday. Officials called them off. The political situation was in dash before the hurricane. The political situation was in turmoil, control. See, here I cannot use the word control. Political situation, how can it be um, control? Okay, before the hurricane. I am not aware what actually the scenario was they are before the hurricane. So control is a big cross. Different. Don't know. They have not discussed anything related to political situations in the previous lines. I cannot say this thing that political situation wasn't different. Then if I'm going to select the word different again, was indifferent. After that, I need one noun. He was in different scenario. He was in different something. That something is missed here. So that's why cross to different. Then situation was in chaos before the hurricane. Again, as I said, control cannot be there. Chaos cannot be there similarly. Because have they talked about anything related to the previous situation, related to the situation which was there before uh, these hurricanes? They have not told anything. They have just said elections were to take place, even were to take place last Sunday. But officials called them off. Now we are not aware how, uh, what kind of situation it was actually at that time. The political situation was in turmoil. Turmoil means some confusion. What to do now? What to do now? Only I'm left with that word. Situation was in turmoil. Very good, Vijayesh. Before the hurricane. Matters are now even worse. No one hasn't changed. There are food shortages. Some villages no longer exist. Relief is just starting to come in. Teams of young men are in the street of machets and chainsaws. They are trying to clear they are trying to clear roads dashed by fallen trees. This is an easy one. They are trying to clear roads stopped by fallen trees, obstructed, flooded, or blocked. Very good, very good. Sana, answer is not obstructed. Here, um, it's not that I was walking and one obstacle was there. Here, actually, roads dashed by fallen trees. Because of the fallen trees, roads, pardon, roads were blocked. It's not like that only one place I would have that. Uh, um, no, we can use uh, whosoever is written obstruction. I can use the word obstruction. If just one tree was fallen, then I can use that tree as one obstacle. Because suppose um, I'm driving on the road and no, I thought this is wrong. And see, again, if you will have uh, one another paragraph and the situation is like you are driving the car. Suddenly you stopped the car because one tree was fallen on the road. It was an obstruction. But now, so not only one tree would have fallen there, so many trees would have fallen there because of that earthquake and all. 
That's why roads are blocked. Clear? In the past, people striped the mountains of trees for firewood that makes mudslides happen. The country is dashed to hurricanes. The country is weak. This is wrong. The country is defenseless, defensive, exposed. It is not like someone, some country is exposed to something. Very good, Gaurav. Uh, sorry, someone gave the right answer, not Gaurav. Mary, uh, defenseless, she said. And uh, Hardik, Hardik, you are doing good. Defenseless. Defenseless is something that cannot do anything to protect themselves for, from hurricanes. We can only predict that this would happen in the future, in the very next one or two hours, in the next day even. But still, we cannot defend ourselves. The country is defenseless to hurricanes. Head check. An outbreak, outbreak with cholera, then are living, not sheltering, then was in turmoil, means some disturbance, roads blocked by, not um, obstructed, and country is defenseless. Let's move into the last question of today's webinar. Immigrants from the Caribbean and Dominican Republic may not have health insurance. The Dash see fewer doctors. Probably, possibly, rarely, and generally. I want the answers from your side first. After that, I'll explain it. Probably, possibly. The war is between probably and possibly. Okay. I cannot use here the word possibly. It's not making sense. Actually, if I use it as my, um, as my adverb here in this sentence, they possibly see few doctors. The confusion can be they rarely or they probably. Or someone is saying generally, means often they go. Yes, Sagar is also writing rarely. Rarely means you are now aware that this thing was happening rarely. You have that clue. But read the last line now. Immigrants from the Caribbean and the Dominican Republic what word is here? May not have. May word we always use when we are not sure about something. And only then we use the word probable, probability. Means this would happen. We cannot say this will surely happen. And because of the presence of that word may not have health insurance, they probably see few doctors. They probably see few doctors. Many have very little money, but good health care matters to them products from La 21 Division Botanica for immigrants include dried herbs from Peru. Examples are horse trail or bladder problems, Polo de Brazil for cleansing the kidney, Anamu for fevers and arthritis. With winter coming, there are dash to ward of colds. With winter coming, there are dash. There are cures. This is wrong. There are remedies. Okay, I can think. There are therapy with R. I need plural word. I knew that um, someone would select some other word, therapy. Then it is medicine. 
which word i can use you all are saying almost remedies okay i go with remedies why not i select here medicine okay this is singular one suppose here it would be medicines then can you select remedies or medicines then i would select here again remedies not medicines then i thought no if you think medicine okay this is the plural one but also see read the next few words that will give me one solid hint to ward of colds they contain bitter orange they contain bitter orange lemongrass and guanabana now what these words are it is just like when we have cough we use ginger and honey this is not a medicine this is a remedy got the point so that's why again if here the word is medicines i'm not going to select even the medicines because i have these words they contain bitter orange lemongrass and guanabana the good news is that traditional medicine is learning from folk medicine physicians dash c patients who are taking their own form of remedies now i'm sure in that here definitely i'm going to select here remedies next physicians dash c patients seldom hardly mostly frequently mostly means every time out of 199 time physicians would be uh, going to see them seldom means uh, very rare sometimes means not very rare seldom means sometimes yes hardik physicians frequently see patients who are taking their own form of remedies why word frequently i have to select here not some other word now see the good news is that traditional medicine this line was also there here that they are moving um, um, who are taking their own form of rem remedies they are learning from folk medicine folk medicine this is just like remedies and all that's why uh, in some cough syrups honey is used in this syrup the this is what honey is a folk medicine it is not uh, sorry honey is a traditional medicine and it is learning from folk medicine this was the good news after that they are writing physicians dash c patients now this is completely different line which is not connecting anything with the previous line so for that i am going to read the next line physicians if i use the word here frequently see patients who are taking their own form of remedies doctors have to know how folk medicine drugs interact with one another because they wanted to know about these things that and with traditional medicines that's why they frequently see patients this line is written in opposite way if this line would have used here then it was having direct meaning but this line is used at third position this is the good news that they are learning from this now physicians uh frequently see patients because they wanted to know how folk medicine drugs interact with one another and with traditional medicines that's why i'm going to select here frequently next the botanical garden has dash a grant after has i need third form all are third form okay with grant i need the word received here you don't acknowledge the grants you don't given the grants give the grants no doubt i can also use the word taken but take and grant words are always used just like you have taken me for granted 
with taken i need always whenever you are going to read the next word grant it will never be grant it will always be granted botanical garden has received a grant to study folk remedies means they have gotten it next the goal is to promote health care that is mindful of medical knowledge from different cultures a guide is coming out next year that will dash patients what guide actually does help hinder tell or facilitate someone can also think uh, help someone can think facilitate guide always helps us guide will never give us um, some things some equipment to know something then if guide will be giving me something in some materialistic thing materialistic way only then i can select the word facilitate just like libraries facilitate the students with so many equipment and then i cannot use the word libraries help the students with so many equipment because library is actually giving me equipment that is a materialistic thing i can actually feel it i can actually hold it in my hands that's why and help you cannot see him only we can actually feel it so a guide is coming out next year that will help patients talk to doctors about medicines mohammed is asking ma'am could you please give the good source to practice for real test let me complete it a guide is coming out next year that will help patients talk to do, uh, doctors about medicines the hope is that the distance between traditional medicine and folk remedies will become smaller again check your your answers because of the presence of that may word i'm going to select here probably then there are remedies because again they have used the word remedies and doctors wanted to know the, these things that's why they were frequently visiting the patients garden has received the grant not taken with taken i need granted and as the word was not granted so definitely i'm going to select here received a grant they will help guide will always help us not facilitate us and we are done with our paragraph mohammed as if you are asking that uh, good source uh, practice for real test uh, appear your mock tests and the pt tutorials website these are really very good you will have the same real exam feeling and they are of good quality too Thokpa is asking. Uh, suppose I'm not aware of uh, some meanings of the words. Sometimes this happens. Then try to use actually the theme, understanding of the paragraph, and grammar. The last option is grammar. And if still you don't know something, then you use the collocation part. Again, if you don't understand which collocation you don't. uh you want to use actually and you should use actually then i would say only god will help you because actually this is reading reading and listening are two skills for which you actually need to know the things i cannot say anyone this thing that see i got the meaning of this paragraph as if this 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 is there but someone is saying i'm not aware of the meaning i'm not aware of the meaning of the words which are used here in the paragraph then no one would save us so ultimately our mind should start working the more you use it the more it helps you actually you are also asking maximum score of reading and writing for plus, uh, one correct answer you get plus 1 in reading but don't know how much score you will be getting for your writing module no one knows even in pt score guide all the intervened um, modules from one task you are getting two scores if 
one score will be clear cut written in the PD score guide, but the hidden scores of this second module, they are not relieved actually. Best tip is Krunal to understand this task in, uh, in two minutes as if you are saying. Best tip is go with the understanding. Um, suppose you are going to find the answers. I would say as if a person is quite weak in reading plans. Why don't you start reading the paragraphs first don't try to select the words fill your answers also there just like as if the paragraph is now in front of you if you start reading in this way they there the word is probably probably can be the word may not have uh, many have very little money you can make the word have blank Ask one question to yourself with many which word I have to select here, but good health care matters to them with care matters word. I need care is similar with matters. I need here when you start asking question by question to yourself. It will help you to develop the understanding regarding the concept. It will help you to understand basically. This is the only thing that uh, if someone is very weak in reading, write the answers first of all. From your answer list, mark your answers. Then start reading the paragraph. Do it for 20 paragraphs. When you will be on 21st, you, your mind will start working. And then definitely you will choose the correct word. I'm not saying, uh, saying this thing that five out of five you will mark correct on 21st. Out of five, at least three or four will definitely be correct. Do like this. Manish is asking how much time never devote more than uh, one one and a half minute on one question type. Otherwise uh, you would skip one or two questions in the end. Now I'm going to end the webinar. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for joining the webinar.